Man, there, there's a lot of weird things going on with this case, man. Not gonna even lie to you. First of all, Quando Rondo, I have never called you a rat. None of that. In fact, I got a video that's going on right now where I think, well, what I actually said is I think you kept it more solid than Durkio, uh homeboys that is. But reading some of the paperwork and I started digging into your paperwork, Quando, because I'm like, I'm doing this new thing where people don't have to listen to me talk only. I mean, they're going to hear me talk, but we're going to bring things to the floor, which is just going to be the indictment paperwork on all you dudes, bro. Every single one of you dudes, we just want to get the paperwork on all of y'all. So what's going on with this right now is your situation is sealed up, Rondo. I've never really seen that for a Fed case unless there's cooperation or things in that case that could possibly hurt another case and operation they got going on, bro. So I did a video yesterday saying Quando Rondo had to know about everything going on as far as the feds about to take down Lil Dirk. Now that video going viral, shout out to the family. I'm pretty sure the family seen my video and talked about it because a lot of the things I bring up and doing my research, then I see other content creators who spread it out and they talk about it, which I have no issues with that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm trying to tell you guys is Quando Rondo is intimately involved in the death of Little Pat. Intimately involved in this situation with Little Dirk. You would be a fool not to think. Now, I didn't say he rather nothing. I said he's intimately involved in the situation. As, as I'm doing this video, there's a stupid bitch walking, keeps looking back like I want her. Majority of these females are weirdos, man. They go out their homes and they wear these naked clothing. So when you see a dude with a hoodie like me, your instinct is to be in fear. Like, bitch, I don't want you. I'm not going to even put her on camera. Like, some, some of our people be doing the most, bro. I don't want you. Like, I hate when bitches think people following them. I'm literally with a camera. Fucking idiot. She moved to the side like I'm following her. But y'all be saying white people be doing that. Nah, it be black people too. They discriminate the worst way. But let me keep going to tell y'all. Watching uh, um, the situation, y'all need to know. When they came to the premises of Quando Rondo later on, they had to. That was his cousin, SR, in the indictment paperwork, and Savion Robinson. That's the family member of Quando Rondo. That mean auntie in them and everybody in them, they got to let them know some things that are going on to let them know that they family being helped. What you mean? They got to let you. Hold on. I'm walking the other direction because I hate weirdos who think you're following them. And then as I'm on the camera, the stupid bitch did a U-turn to come back by me. I only came to this area because I thought it was privacy, but you have dumb asses. Jesus Christ. I seen her, so I walked away from her. See what I mean? Makes me uncomfortable, right? Now I know how... <laughs> niggas be talking about it be white people. It be niggas doing that the most, bro. But let me continue with the story. So, Rondo paperwork for his Fed case is sealed the hell up. You hear me? It's sealed up, bro. Why is this man Fed case sealed up for? What's going on, bro? That, that's all I'm asking. I'm not saying he ratted or nothing, but could it? let's just talk about the possibilities. Could it be possible that Rondo pointed somebody out? Or things he said during his Fed trial that helped him out. Because all he got was probation for a Fed case. Y'all remember that? He dropped his flags and everything after a little pap situation. You know what I mean? Like, he got a Fed case doing something that was being investigated for a while now. Even prior to little pap being shot or whatever. They've been on dirt for the longest with their own task force. Headed by special agent Sarah Cochran, that is. She was tasked to take Dirk down years ago. You telling me she didn't go into the details and whereabouts about Quando Rondo? She had to have went into the details of this dude, bro. Going into the details, now we got a little bit more inside information. 
This man paperwork is sealed up for a federal indictment case. This man, Quando Rondo, got probation. For, man, we're going to see a lot of breaking news later on. I'm talking about after the fact. after Maybe during the trial too, but I'm talking about after they convict Dirk and they sentence him and throw him up the road. We're going to see a lot of things transpire through and it's going to be coming out about it. This case is going to open up everything that you guys can think of. All the players involved are known figures. They may not be rappers, but a lot of them are street dudes. A lot of them are people who you can look at and know without a doubt this is the route they went through. You know what I'm saying? So this right here, the magnitude of it and what we got going, yeah, you pretty much going to see it, bro. I'm looking at all the play. How you doing? Good morning. All the people involved in this case lets me know, bro, nobody could be trusted. That's why OTF members are going brazy right now because as much as Bezu is yapping about, you know what I'm saying, that nobody else uh, knows what's going on. We just talking. They're going to be the main faces and names that's probably going to get out and about. You got to understand that. This, this is not a cookie award contest they're giving to anybody. This is a situation that was planned out and thought out about to the maximum T. So now everybody who's involved in this, the only main things you can talk about are the players involved, bro. So Quando Rondo is in a world of, of doo-doo right now, bro. Because people are going to want to know, how did you get probation for a federal indictment? Everybody else got the harder charges. Good morning, sir. Good morning, man. I mean, make it make sense. It's all I'm trying to tell y'all. Make it make sense for me, bro. They literally got this dude with a sealed paperwork. I'm not just yapping because I'm trying. Right now, my brain is trying to, because that's the little things I did forget about until later it hit me. So I'm doing my research trying to find this information. I'm going to the uh, websites that my battle buddies that used to be in the army with me gave me. You know, you're trying to get confirmation like, Nah, Rondo ain't riding. But then you realize and remember, oh yeah, that Fed case he had. You mean to tell me all he had for that was probation? So I looked at my old videos and I did cover the story on Rondo when he got probation only. But at that time, we wasn't like, we knew allegedly what the rumors were about Dirk killing Lil Pat, but there was nothing concrete. I mean, even if we knew things in the street, there was nothing concrete, at least that we thought of, that the cops knew about. Quando Rondo is in a situation that he's in a world of ish. Let me walk on the grass instead. He's in a world of problem that he literally can't really get out of right now. Quando Rondo li literally going to have a lot of explaining to do because right when the situation happened, he drops his music video. He does a whole letter about I forgive dirt. I don't know. Maybe it is a change, but that's just something for y'all to think about, man. Quando Rondo with his sealed paperwork, Quando Rondo gets probation only. Did Quando Rondo cooperate to this situation? Did he cooperate? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Do y'all feel Quando Rondo cooperated? I'm not saying he did. Which is bringing up, look, this is going to be a long trial. A lot of things are going to be popping out. So we just want to get on top of some of these things. We're not trying to solve cases or nothing. We're asking regular questions. How the hell Quando Rondo got probation for a federal indictment? Two years ago, the man only got probation, bruh. I don't know, man. A lot of people that you look up to, y'all look up to, you're going to find out that every single street dude cooperates. Every single street dude is full of crap. Their whole job is to put an image up. I'm not saying these dudes wouldn't kill nobody. I'm not saying they soft because just because you can kill someone does not make you thorough and a stand-up individual. You get what I'm saying? Just because you can murk somebody does not make you thorough at all. And this is the situation and the complications going on with the dirt trial. A lot of people are getting passes because people feel like they're so certified or other people or content creators are so afraid of them. They wouldn't even dare ask that question. So as much as people come in at Dirk and OTF members, what about the other people involved? What about bloggers? Can we go deeper onto that or into that? 
What about the bloggers who talk a little too much and give a little way too much information? What about the bloggers who get hit up by these departments and these federal agencies and they turn out to be another Trenches News TV? I'm just leaving you guys with something to think about. This gonna be more deeper than just Dirk Homeboy switched on him and his game over. You need a different parties to be involved as well. You know what I mean? And yes, my lip is busted for the last five days now. So don't ask me that question. We're not getting into that. Unlike dirty old friends, I ain't gonna give you the details on that. But look, man, y'all stay blessed, man. Love your family, love your kids, and definitely stay blessed, gang.